Hey YouTube, happy anniversary. And yes, today is a special occasion because I don't just whip out my limited edition Lord of the Rings goblet for anything. Ah, that's good grape juice. Indeed, today marks two full years of Yugi tubing for me, starting on June 16th of 2019. So I just want to, uh, basically this video is just a big thank you to you guys for all of your guys' support. I know I got dressed up a little bit formal for this, but I mean, hopefully you guys are looking the same on your couch. I'm sure that you guys aren't just sitting in pajamas uh, on your laptop or whatever, just bumming around, maybe playing some Pokemon Go or whatever. But thank you guys so much for joining. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all of your support over the last two years. And so today I thought it would just be really fun to go over a bunch of my old videos, uh, sort of check out the old comment section, look at comments that either drove me crazy or really uplifted me in times where I felt low and just sort of go over moments of really awesome pulls, cool stories, stuff that I can tell you about uh, why I really love what I do and how I just sort of want to keep doing this stuff in the future and go along this journey with you guys. Because we have a really long way to go with my adventure here, I think. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing this for many, many more years, hopefully, as long as you guys can keep on watching the videos, liking, commenting, leaving your awesome comments, which uh, I literally read every single comment that pops up on my notifications. Uh, whether I respond to them, it generally goes on whether it's positive or it, um, you know, if it invites conversation. Generally, I do uh, reply to probably about 95% of the comments. Any of those of you guys who are new and uh, don't know, we are doing a giveaway. Uh, so leave a comment on this video. That is how you guys are going to be getting into the giveaway. Uh, I will be going over all of the comments and this giveaway is going to be ending next week, next Tuesday on June 22nd at noon. I will be doing a drawing, but the giveaway is going to be for one lucky winner to uh, get this their hands on a legendary collection Kaiba. Uh, this has been pretty highly sought after. These sort of hit the shelves back at Walmart recently, and I, I've been able to pick these up at my local Walmart. I actually have an additional one sitting up on my shelf there, and hopefully you guys have been enjoying seeing like my shelf and my background in the set uh, growing over time. If you guys look here, I recently just picked this up over Facebook Marketplace for a pretty good price, I think. Uh, it works very well. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series dual disc. I really, really love the GX series. I have my Dual Monsters one sitting behind me, but for those of you guys who want to get in on this giveaway, just leave a comment and next Tuesday on June 22nd, 2021, I will be doing a drawing to see who gets this. I'll maybe add a little bit more. I always send a signed token with any giveaways and stuff like that, so uh, you guys can uh, definitely count for that. Besides that, I really don't think that there's too much more to say, except I just really hope that you guys will comment on the video so that you guys can enter into the giveaway. Like the video if you guys enjoy what you're seeing. Uh, probably not going to be able to do this at least for, uh, well, at least for another year, maybe a few years after this. I just thought for the start of my Yugi tubing, it would be really fun to go back and look at what a novice I was. So I think we're going to be hopping right into this. Again, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. There will be details down in the description for the Facebook group, the Twitch, uh, which I have not been doing lately because of computer issues. My Instagram account, all of that stuff will be down in the description below. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Whew, okay, that's better. <laughs> what, did you guys think I was going to wear that monkey suit the whole time? Okay, so... We are over here on my YouTube channel. This is the sort of my, uh, like my YouTuber manager page, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, so this is my page. We just hit, uh, so it says 1.41 thousand subscribers. So we actually just hit, uh, 1415. So 1415. So, uh, I think that that's pretty awesome. Uh, I thought it would be kind of fun. Let's go over to my my about. So about so two years ago is when I would have uh, probably put this uh, description together. So as a collector of many trades, I aspire to fill my channel with in-depth looks primarily at Yu-Gi-Oh cards, deck building, rare finds, discussions, and unboxing videos. 
I would say that that's actually pretty fair. Um, yeah, and then, uh, so, so far, uh, 17 or 170,756 views. That's pretty cool. Uh, joined August 31st. That's like not actually accurate. So the channel, like I said, was uh, started on June 16th of 2021. Uh, and this is every video that I've uploaded uh, minus, minus, I guess, the Patreon videos. Those are not showing on here because I guess they're not public. So that's, I mean, I guess that's kind of nice for, because uh, you guys probably, some of you are probably too young to see some of the the thumbnails for some of those videos just to be honest so uh this is just going to be such a trip down memory lane so okay so this is actually really funny this is uh my first two videos and this was intentional that uh it was intentional afterwards uh so this is how bad of a yugi tuber i was is that i did not put thumbnails on my first two videos and you can even see here this uh this ban list review uh wow look how young i look this ban list review was uh, done with without a thumbnail. I mean, essentially without a thumbnail. I also didn't know that with YouTubing, he should be filming and doing pictures for thumbnails at like a uh, 16 by 9 ratio, uh, which is also evident here with this Cybernetic Horizon Special Edition box opening. Um, yeah, it wasn't until I want to say there was some there was a Battery Man deck profile. Uh, which I think it was this one. No, probably one of them, this, probably this deck profile. Yes. Uh, someone said to me that it wasn't full screen and whatnot. And, uh, so there's probably a comment in here somewhere. We might as well just click on this. Uh, this ooh, I guess I got to turn down the volume for my, for my YouTubes. So, um, but yeah, basically, yeah, the, there was a comment from, uh, one of my friends actually, which is, uh, or just sort of a friend that I made through YouTube. Uh, maybe it's not in here, uh, but it was, uh, yeah, my friend, uh, Thwain, who said that, like, oh, she, I think she just messaged me, actually. She said that, uh, like, hey, dude, you're um, only doing this in, like, not the right ratios. You need to be doing this in 16 by 9. But uh, now let's get into some actual content. So this was my first unboxing. Uh, basically, this was this was the main start of my channel that I wanted to get into was that I wanted to do stuff like collection buying as well as deck profiles. So I made bef made sure before I did any uh, videos that I had like maybe like five deck profiles up and ready to go. Uh, this this box here was a shoe box and it says Trent and Mitchell's Yu-Gi-Oh box. I still have the box to this day. So here is the box right here. You guys can see that this is obviously still the exact same box. Uh, inside it now is, uh, these are Tyler's old packs for the sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh challenge. So, uh, we obviously stopped doing the sealed only challenge mainly because Tyler moved away. We will get a little bit more into the sealed only challenge in, in a little bit, but, uh, yeah, this was a really big one. It was basically, basically just the spark that I needed to finally start Yu-Gi tubing. And you can just see by the quality of my camera and everything that everything was off to a slow start, but. Basically, the best advice that I heard when starting a YouTube channel is that you basically just need to, um, you basically just need to like start with whatever uh, you have for equipment and stuff available, and then just sort of go from there. Uh, so yeah, there was a whole bunch of Japanese cards in here and stuff. There was like the the Lost Art Monster Reborn, which right here is the thumbnail, which is so embarrassing, but. I kind of made a pact after I realized like how to make a good thumbnail. Here's here's the alternate art monster reborn. Uh, those are really cool, but um, I basically made a pact with myself that I wasn't going to change the thumbnails. It was going to kind of be a reminder on uh, where I started and where I came from. This black skull dragon is a little bit dinged up, you can see, but I I I thought that this was just the bomb. Uh, these this was like one of my all time favorite cards when I was a kid playing. And so, yeah, I thought that this was a really cool collection. I think it still was. I think it still is. Uh, it was a pretty decent investment, I think. I think I paid like $40 for it. And like I said, I just wanted to have some deck profiles uh, lined up. And then I basically, so once I had the deck profiles lined up, then that was all I needed to finally shoot this off. So then, then what did I do here? I bought some... 
I bought some of these mega. I bought two 2018 mega tins as well as these cubes, one from Walmart and one from Target. So I do. I actually do think that that was pretty good for my for my second video. Was that I I was judging between uh, a judging between a Walmart cube and a Target cube, and I thought that that was actually kind of interesting. I think I, I still do. I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So my first deck profile was a Harpy deck profile. And I remember just watching the comments grow on this and just basically going like, or watching the views and just going like, wow, I've got, you know, I've got five views, 10 views. And finally it, it went up. You can see by my first couple of videos that I only ended up getting 35 views on my first ever video, which is really, really sad. But, um, I mean, maybe a few of you guys will go back and watch that. Uh, it's pretty embarrassing, but, uh, yeah. So this is my big 30 minute in-depth deck profile. Now I just want to quick see how big the extra deck changed from like how it is run now. So we, wow. So I, I, this was where I, when I ran magical hats in there, magical hats is still actually a pretty good card to run in harpies, but we have phantasmal. I still run lightning Chidori, ice beast zero fine. Those cards are also still really good, but Honor Arc. This was still when I was like not totally over the XZ era and not totally into the links yet. Uh, looks like we have like Diamond Dire Wolf and then like Big Eye. Um, oh, I didn't I didn't know that I had uh, Red Eyes Flare back then. And then we have the Mecha Phantom Beast. Yeah, um, really not running many links in here. I thought that Saryuja was really really cool. Uh, I was still a little bit late into the link game and whatnot, but, and at this point, I still just could not afford a Boral Sword Dragon. So, anyways, let's keep moving along here. This is my first ban list discussion, which it, this, this would have been, it looks like by the picture. So, this is when, uh, when Elemental Hero Stratos went to two, and then going to one, we had Salamangrate Gazelle and Circle. Those were like the big hits that I, I noticed. I think, uh, was this also the same ban list where like, uh, oh, I, I don't even have, this is just me talking, no picture, uh, yeah, no pictures or anything. So, um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I would actually be really interested just to go back and listen to just the dumb things that I said. Let's just, let's just listen to something dumb that I said. I probably said that like, or I, I'm, I'm sure I'm complaining about Orcist. So again, the audio pretty bad we just okay what what am i saying going on next tempest dragon lord of storms it was interesting that they just um oh brought one of them to limited, but okay so this was when all four to limited, that was this is when tempest came back and we still have not seen anything besides tempest so that's pretty crazy okay what else do we got going on here <laughs> What about a non-effect monster? Oh. I think I know what I was talking about there. Ooh. Okay. What are? Oh, uh, this seems. <laughs> um, now is your time to do so because sign and mining is about I mean it's it's already like a forty dollar card. Okay, so I'm talking about sign at mining and how the price of sign at mining was I think it was at like forty bucks and how it was just gonna skyrocket now because anyone who wanted to play Salamangrates, uh now that Gazelle and Circle had gotten hit that like sign at mining was gonna just like juice up in price. So I mean not a, not horrible analytics, like actually some pretty good market watching. But now, I mean, sign up mining is I don't even know like a five. I don't I I don't even know how much it costs. Um, but yes, yeah, so this was a cybernetic horizon special edition opening. Uh, I thought that it would be. I'm I'm actually interested. I haven't rewatched this since, but I, I remember I was all butt hurt because I did not pull a colossus. Uh, I think that the only 
The only uh, secret, I only pulled one secret out of this, and I believe that that was, um, the only secret that I pulled was Levy Near, which at the time was actually pretty expensive. So I, I pulled a really good card, and then Colossus ended up getting hit anyways, so I was just being really, really stupid. Um, but yeah, I, I think that, I think that it was just kind of funny, like, looking nowadays, like, getting Chaos Levy Near was a really good, impactful card for back then. And I just really, really couldn't see it. Um, oh, and this is my my buddy Brady, uh, who I've had on the channel as well. He he was joining for for that episode as well, so that was funny having him on there. So, um, anyways, we really got to get moving on here. We're spending a lot of time way back in uh, 2019, but this is my first uh, my Ghost Trick Mill deck profile was my first profile to like skyrocket in views according to like how i see views but or how i saw views back then but yeah uh two and a half thousand views was monumental to me because you can see uh nothing else in the area is like really close we have over 800 on my harpy combo but then like my harpy deck profile really didn't get much maybe because i didn't write profile that might have actually been a big reason it just said harpy deck um, but then, yes, yeah, so then we have like my budget, like my hero build was only 180. Uh, finally, my Morphtronic Quasar build really actually picked up steam, which is another really big thing I want to talk about, which uh, uh, shout outs to Dark Arm Duelist for giving me a shout out on his channel, which was really monumental. Uh, basically, he saw this deck profile and maybe even my other Morphtronic build that I did maybe, you know, a handful of months later. Um, I did this extra link video with Morphtronics, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, basically Dark Arm Duelist saw my uh, Morphtronic Quasar build, fell in love with it, and he even like commented on the video. I, I bet this is the one that he commented on. And uh, it was just so huge to me that he commented and uh enjoyed it okay maybe not on this one but uh yeah he said in one of the videos that like he's like wow like you you really did a great job of explaining this and it was just so super duper big uh ghost trick week that was another really fun one um i don't know how i really did it uh especially with how new i was but basically I did a, uh, a ghost trick themed video every single uh, day of the week for a week up to Halloween. And we did like a giveaway and all this kind of stuff. Uh, did a Shadow Specters box opening, which got 87 whole views. But it was really cool. I did end up pulling an Ultimate Rare, uh, Ultimate Rare Alucard, which I really want to find. Yeah, right here. This is the ultimate rare alucard that was super duper awesome and this was this box was first edition look at how cool that is in in ultimate rare that is so sweet um yeah so ghost trick week that was cool uh my my insect deck profile for goat format that was actually pretty fun as well um i i did a giveaway celebrating a uh my first 1000 views which uh, maybe it was kind of lame, but, uh, to me, it was really, really important. Tyler and I did a, uh, Ghost Trick Mill versus Gravekeeper, uh, duel video for Ghost Trick Week. That was also really, really cool. Uh, yeah, another, you know, couple of really cool, uh, profiles. Um, yeah, I, okay, so I remember when Magical Hero, uh, got, uh, came out, Legendary Duels, Magical Hero, that was a big one. That was like the first time that I ever did a double box opening, I think, and uh, did not go well. That was maybe even like one of my first actual like box openings. Okay, so uh, Tyler and I did a like uh, like box battle, and so that would have been two. And then I totally skipped over Chaos Impact for some reason. Uh, then then you would go to the Legendary Duelist Magical Hero, which I did two boxes, which was pretty cool. Uh, the extra link video, like I said, I thought that that one was actually really nice, really cool. That one came out pretty darn sweet. Um, uh, this was the first episode of Sealed Only, which is at 600 views. Not horrible, to be honest, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed uh, how the Sealed Only series turned out. Uh, wow, the first episode was only 35 minutes. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I worked, I worked so hard and long on this intro. <laughs> I thought that it was like... Uh, a huge feat of editing genius 
But yeah, basically, like, I mean, in Tyler, in the first episode, he pulled so good. He got Dark Magician, Trap Hole. Uh, okay, let's let's see. After he's opened up a few extra packs, let's see what Tyler all got. Um, and then we did we did the the Smack Talk corner, which was really fun. Yeah, here he is pulling Trap Hole. Oh, I guess he didn't fan out. All oh, maybe he does fan out. Yeah, there. Here he is pulling out all of his good cards. Let's just look at this. Two Mystical Elves, Trap Hole, Pot of Greed, and a Dark Magician. Uh, even Celtic Guardian is pretty good. And my pulls, uh, my pulls were absolutely horrible. Uh, pff, yeah, I got one Mystical Elf, and then the rest were all, all of my rares and stuff and were like fusions. It was horrible. Um, but yeah, Sealed Only. That was a really fun one. Hopefully, you know, if you guys enjoy like sealed only stuff, definitely go check that out. That was a really, really fun one. Um, okay, so now we're getting more into like, uh, this would be last year around this time. So we have, uh, yeah, okay, so we have my Evil Eye lore video. That one was really cool. I enjoyed doing that. I really want to make another uh, lore video. Um, I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. So, uh, this was, this was another really cool collection. I still have this five headed dragon to this day. So this was March 26th of last year. So, uh, and this was my old intro. I'm not really sure why I got rid of the old intro. I just kind of got rid of it cause I was afraid people were getting annoyed with it. Like seeing it all the time. Uh, maybe I'll bring it back some, Oh no, maybe this isn't the old intro. This is this, that got included into the old intro. Um, but yeah, this was a really cool collection that I bought, uh, and it basically had a misprinted five-headed dragon, which was absolutely insane. Uh, wow, and this video only got 59 views. That's horrible. Um, uh, and can you even really see it that well? Uh, but basically, like the name of five-headed dragon is really, really dragged down. You can you can kind of see it. There it is. There you can see it really, really well. Um, yeah, this was another cool one. You can see all of the other like really good classic cards. This was a this was a really really cool video. Um, okay, okay. So here is the uh, Morphtronic deck profile. Um, so this would have been what March twenty seventh of twenty twenty. So yeah, this was I believe this is when yes this was when Dark Arm Duels commented and this was so monumental to me uh, because this was like the first time. That I really felt like I was on the right track. Uh, basically, I believe around here I was sitting somewhere around like 400 subscribers. Uh, a little bit after January, I started picking up about 80 to 100 subscribers a month, which was uh, really, really crazy. I couldn't believe how fast everything started picking up. So um, basically what happened was I put out this video. Uh, Dark Arm Duelist commented after a while, I believe he was just researching the deck for himself for other videos, and he said, gotta say, man, very well explained and great job on this video, and we kind of just uh, ended up talking from there, became friends on Facebook, whatever, not, you know, whatever, and then, and then all of a sudden, here comes, uh, here comes this comment a few, a few months later, so when, when was his first, his first comment was, uh, it says like over a year ago, uh, and then it says 11 months ago from now, he said, uh, psst, gave you a shout out over on my channel, on my Morphtronic deck profile, just posted today. And uh, and this was crazy because he ended up giving me basically a uh, triple shout out over on his channel because he uh, right away he shouted me out in the video, shouted me out partway through the video in the extra deck on uh, one of my best tech choices that I put into the deck and that he uh, transferred over into his deck. And then he gave me another shout out at the end, which was much appreciated. It was really, really cool. Um, really hoping to do like a project with him uh, at some point in the future. We just haven't gotten there yet. Um, and my with with my computer, my streaming issues and whatnot, I just haven't really gotten uh, been able to do that. Um, wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I, re I remember this one. I just don't really remember the context. Uh, but this was a, uh, classic card collection that I bought and then I did a big time giveaway on it. Wow. I look, I look pretty, pretty muscular there. Holy crap. I was, I was actually a little bit in shape back then. Uh, and, and again, the collection videos just don't really get too many views, but they're still a lot of fun to make really cool. 
Um, anyways, let's keep scooting along here. Uh, what else do we have? Um, couple couple good videos that I what that I've dropped like Rocket Guard Dragon and stuff. Everyone always loves Nordic videos. Uh, this that that has never been a surprise. Um, almost ten thousand views on my Nordic deck profile. Like. Wow, that is insane. I, I should do an update to that uh, because I actually did get a request a while ago to do an update. And with 10,000 views, maybe I should. Um, but anyways, yeah, Ad Emancipators came out around this time. When did I... Did I do an opening for Secret Slayers? I didn't? Or am I just not seeing it? Here's Eternity Code. Let's go back a little bit. Is there no... I never did a Secret Slayers. Wow, unless I'm just totally missing it, I guess I never opened up uh, a Secret Slayers box. So I just... Uh, Ended up getting, like, the Ad Emancipator deck together, Rikas and stuff. Uh, okay, here's here's something that we really need to talk about. Uh, Toon Chaos. This is this video is at uh, 4,000 4, views. Nothing insane, but here's, here is the old intro that I used to do. Uh, I think it, I still think that it was actually still really good. Uh, but again, yeah, I just don't really know why I, I stopped using it. I just didn't want to, like, annoy people with it, but... Um, th this is one that I should definitely turn the sound on a bit for. So, um, so this was the first set that Collector's Rares came out in. This was a pretty big one. This was big news with Collector's Rares. And uh, so this was almost a year ago. So this video in itself could have almost just been like one year ago. I pulled seven Collector's Rares out of Toon Chaos. So if you guys have not seen my Toon Chaos box opening, oh my gosh, go watch it. Um, so we're going to get on to the first one, which was Toon Harpy Lady. I am 95% sure on. Uh, there's Chaos Valkyria, but that's not a collector's rare. Do they just... Oh, yeah. Okay, so they do give you a foil with every pack. It, it's got to be coming here soon. I, I want I want to hear... I want to hear the shock in my voice. Um, it, it... It... This video just gets funner... Funnier... Oh. Oh, was it Pot of Desires? Pot of Desires was my first one. Okay. Oh, yeah, and a bunch of them were upside down. All right, there we go. Doing that where they put it upside down, but oh my gosh, there we go. This is the new collector's rare. Okay, so that was my first one. I was wrong. That's why I only said ninety-five percent sure. Already, like this box was a pretty oh. good investment on the on the in my. Collection. Okay, so, so um, yeah, so right there, I'm saying that buying this box was pretty good. I already pulled a collector's rare. For a pot of extravagance at some point. And, and and now I just keep yeah. going and um. Pretty soon here, I just start pulling out collector's rares like it's my day job, which it's not. But that'd be pretty cool. I'd I'd be really good at it if it was. Mm. And and right here, this was uh, a big a big part of the irony of this video was that I was talking about how. Uh, there's a lot of Yugi tubers out there. I don't want to name anybody specifically, but there's a lot of Yugi tubers out there who are uh, basically making videos where they're saying like, "Whoa, I got a God box!" and check this out. But realistically, what they're doing is they're buying up a ton of boxes, re-recording the same video, going, "Hey, I just picked up this box at locals, and here's my second collector's rare, a Toon bookmark." And I'm sure that I'm saying, "Holy crap, I got two of them." Yeah. Here I'm here I'm going 
no one's supposed to be able to pull like a god box and uh on their first try and then this was my first recording of tomb chaos i i will say that in full honesty and uh i don't i i would never lie to you guys i love you guys as an audience i would never lie about something like this nor would i have the ability to pull off a stunt like this um and then here i get chaos valkyria and then uh, you can you can already see that my hands are shaking. I I think I paused the video and I I I just had to take a breather and and then I said at the beginning of uh, this is this box number two no it's not uh, so once I moved on to box number two I basically said there's no way that box number two could even um, hold up to how good box number one was but we might as well open and then first pack. Collector's rare. That this came in, but um, yeah, we'll just see what happens here. Um, so, yeah. No, oh my God. And then I just slammed that sucker down. BLS collector's rare. And that's, I mean, the BLS I, is high and away the most expensive out of all of them. I don't. I wish I had a face cam. Man, I cut my hand. How did I do that? Um, yeah. So yeah, got the BLS. Uh, a couple packs later, uh, there's the, there's the, uh, oh, that's not the collector's rare tune harpy. Okay, here we go. Here's the collector's tune harpy. Absolutely insane. Keep going a little bit longer. Uh, I get chaos space. Um, is that the chaos? No, that's not the chaos space collector's rare up there. Uh, is that coming? No. Uh, Clerk's Rare Chaos Space, somewhere in here. And then I believe that I ended the video with Chaos Emperor Dragon. Okay, oh yeah, here, here's all, here's all four of them right there. So, then I, then I, I mean, I would hope that I flushed them all out. Yeah, so, right here at the end, you can see all seven of them, all seven of these Collector's Rares pulled out of out of two boxes of Toon Chaos. Uh, definitely factory error boxes. That is not supposed to happen at all. Um, let's see. And now we have to get on to the next crazy video. This was the absolute highlight of last summer. Um, and I was, I believe I was 11 packs deep when I got the godly pull. So that, that ought to be here somewhere. It's it's probably um, right here. And then going on, we have an afterglow, and then what is our secret? We have a nice mm. fossil warrior. Oh, and I was so excited for the uh, fossil I don't think deck. This is expensive of the fossil warriors, but over uh, Valorifon, a Numeron wall, a Golio Guard. I I haven't. A Danger Jackalope. This is a really nice. Oh, I forgot that they uh, they reprinted Danger Jackalope in there. But just nice to get like another Danger Jackalope. Okay, it's got to be the next pack. I know it was only like Numeron, ten packs deep. Yep. Oh no. I swear I just saw like foiling on the edge. Here it is. There's no way. This I, I I have no idea how this happened. I went to Walmart. As you can see in the title of the video, I went to Walmart, bought 50 Battles of Legend Armageddon packs, and I had no illusions of pulling 10,000 Dragon, but I did and pulled it out of the 11th pack. I seeing some foiling i'm betting i'm actually thinking no oh my gosh i think we have the utopia and just look at look at me guy. shake i'm putting the cards down because of how much i'm sweating goyo guardian holy crap guys no a ten thousand dragon are you kidding me oh my god oh okay okay oh boy oh no okay i'm sorry happy anniversary everybody uh, There I am, just running for a sleeve. Oh my gosh! Oof. Okay. I at gotta... least, at least that sucker sleeved right, good. I, gotta... oh. I got that puppy in the sleeve oh my clean. Gosh, I, I'm shaking again. This is like worse than Toon Chaos. <laughs> this is worse than Toon Chaos. I remember saying that. And then uh, the comment section on here. Um. Oh, Dark Arm Duelist. He at least he watched this video too. That was really cool. 
Um, yeah. And, okay, this guy here. I came here without ever seeing a single Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Uh, just the one that Charlie posted. This was, um, uh, Charlie referring to, like, Penguin Zero. And so, uh, he opened up a 10,000 Dragon, and then a whole bunch of people flooded into the, uh, actual Yu-Gi-Oh! community. And then, yeah, uh, so, yeah, basically, there's all these guys, uh... <laughs> All these guys are coming here. Uh, here, here again is my friend uh, Thwain, uh, uh, who's also a YouTuber as well. Um, but I mean, this was just absolutely insane. It's it's really funny reading some of these. Uh, I just watched your Toon Chaos box opening, and now this. Your luck is absolutely fantastic. Uh, someone in here also said something about um, we we got to go to Vegas or something like that. I I can't. Uh, uh, I can't exactly remember, but, um, welcome to the 10,000 dragon owners club. So I guess, uh, the collector's side, he must've also pulled a 10,000 dragon, but this was really cool. And on, uh, actually, if you guys could do me a quick favor, if everybody watching this video will please go watch this video again, this video is actually so close to 10,000 views. I want my 10,000 dragon video at 10,000 views. So please go rewatch that video that would mean a lot to me actually uh let's keep going along um oh now now it's now this thing is finally keeping up with me um but uh i feel like i should maybe uh speed things up uh here's rise of the duelist i just pulled a starlight rare last week out of um i pulled a starlight rare out of lightning overdrive and then this is my last pack uh my last pack on the right side of rise of the duelist and uh, pulled absolutely insane here as well. And I didn't slap the card down this time. Dogmatica is... Okay, I gotta rewind that. That is so bad. I did not know how to say this card's name. Yes! We actually did get a Starlight. This card... Okay. So I only got 127 views on here. It is uh, a little bit apparent why this video didn't get shared or liked a little bit more because I said Dogmatica Eslesia the the Virtuous. Wow. Okay. So that makes sense now. I always that always bugged me why that uh, didn't get more views. Um, 2020 Megatons. I opened up really really horrible there. Uh, but cyber, my uh, no the uh, my legendary uh, legend my dragons of legend the complete series I pulled really really well out of there I got two cyber slashes which was really really amazing uh, messed around all last summer with ad emancipators which was really cool uh, did a lot of messing around with the melfies as well uh, playing around with my morphtronics as always as including uh, evil eyes as well. And uh, now we're getting into the fall of this last year. Messed around with for hires a lot as well. Uh, bought a big, big, big collection for like, yeah, $220. That one was pretty cool. Phantom Rage, that was a really good set as well. I really, really enjoyed that. I pulled really well uh, out of there. Um, here is uh, ban list reactions. Uh, what else do we have? Burning Abyss, which uh, I, I need to mess around more with Burning Abyss because it is such a fun deck. PK Fire is uh, so much fun. Um, how to Fix Nordics, I was really surprised. I even dressed up in my, my Thor costume for this one. And uh, I was really surprised that this really didn't get more views. But, um, you know, this one's a little bit... My discussion view videos just don't really do very well. This video probably won't really do that well. Um, but... Yeah, I, I thought that that was a really cool one, just talking about how they could potentially fix Nordics. Um, and then we're just getting really, really close to, uh, really close to, like, current times. We have Blazing Vortex opening, using War Rocks and stuff, testing out Drytrons a lot, using, uh, yeah, I mean, and I'm using Drytrons now. There will be an update to my deck profile really, really soon, um, opening up OTS 15. Which I didn't, I don't think I opened up really good here, but uh, I did end up getting all three of the ultimate rares out of that set. Ghost from the Past, 
Nothing went very well there, but I did end up buying the Ghost BLS. Valkyries, I would say Valkyries and Appliancers were two of my favorite decks that I uh, played around with recently. Sun Avalon was really cool. Thunder Dragon, absolutely insane. And then uh, we might as well just get to the other Starlight Rare pull, which happened... Uh, just last week. Wow, 180 views on my Lightning Overdrive. I didn't think that I was up to that much. Um, when did I pull the star? I pulled the Starlight like towards the end. There it is. Okay, let's watch this. How how stupid did I sound a week ago? So, so we look back at my old videos from like a year ago. Let's see how stupid I sounded a week ago. So, so for clarification for who uh, people who have not seen this video, uh, basically what happened was I already you get you guys can already see up top that I already pulled my uh, my two secrets the book of lunar eclipse and my uh, the diviner of the herald. I pulled three ultra rares, which are the cards that are also up top. Uh, so you're only supposed to get four ultra rares and two secret rares. So I was pretty positive that one of these last three packs was going to have an ultra rare. You're not supposed to get a starlight rare if you get two secrets. You're only supposed to get uh, two secret rares or one secret and a starlight. And for some reason in this, the uh, the starlight rare took the place of just a super rare, not even an ultra. Um, so I was pretty positive I was going to pull an ultra here. And th I mean, and that How was just, that was just clear, utter amazement right there, which uh, pulling that line was super duper cool. Well, anyways, guys, I think that's going to about do it for me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you guys can see all of my most recent videos here. You guys have probably uh, hopefully been paying attention to a lot of these, like my Plunder Patrol deck profile. Uh, from After Lightning Overdrive, I updated Springins, War Rocks already, um, but yeah, it this is this has actually been really really cool. Just going back, uh, starting from this was when I started Yugi tubing. This was like at the end of the Eternal format with like um, um, with Salamangrates, Orcus, and like Thunder Dragons, all that all that stuff. We ended up like um, gravitating into like you know, formats where we had, um, with, uh, where I, I think I already passed like legendary duelist, uh, uh, the magical hero where you ended up actually having stuff, which was, uh, more like, uh, okay. I'm still, I'm still having trouble finding, uh, but like stuff like Luna light. So I ended up playing Luna light. Oh, this was another cool one where I, I, I want to duel with sparks, uh, 200 damage with sparks. But yeah, then we ended up getting into, uh, my, crazy summer with Toon Chaos as well as the 10,000 Dragon Pull uh, and then ending like the summer right before fall with Rise of the Duelist did a 10,000 Dragon deck profile which uh, I still think was pretty good it was it was a lot of fun um, and then just continuously uh, doing deck profiles on Evil Eyes and Morphtronics because uh, you guys will always see deck profiles uh, uh, for those two decks here on my channel but uh, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the last couple of years. I don't know how long you guys have been here with me as a subscriber, but hopefully you guys will stay on as subscribers. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know if there are any more future videos that you guys would like to see. Um, yeah, I will hopefully be doing this for a very, very long time. I've really, really enjoyed doing this. It's been quite a blast. Um, yeah, so thank you guys again from the bottom of my heart. Uh, again, don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section in order to get into the giveaway drawing for the Legendary Collection Kaiba. Uh, that giveaway drawing will be ending in six days. Um, I have a big tournament to go to this weekend, so I'm going to be sort of going over the giveaway there with a few people. Hopefully picking up a few new subs uh, to join you guys in the audience, and hopefully one of you guys will be lucky enough to win it. That would be... Uh, Hopefully really awesome for you guys. You guys can either add it to your collection or just bust it open if you guys are really curious to see what's inside. But anyways, guys, um, feel free to browse around my old videos. I think that looking at the sealed only series is a really, really good one. Um, you guys should definitely check that out. 
Uh, again, you can like go to all of my playlists and whatnot and check out. Uh, yeah, I believe that the sealed only is probably my favorite. I think that it is a lot of a lot of fun. So uh, again, thank you guys just so much for sticking with me here, watching this as I go through a bunch of my old videos. I really appreciate it, and we will catch you next time. Peace.